I was hiding. <laughs> Alright, so in the wise words of Sora from No Game No Life, there are only two actions you can take in game, okay? You can only advance your strategy or respond to an opponent's strategy. Now, what do we mean by that? Is uh, you know, if you want to outplay your opponent, you need to have a plan that he can't beat, or he has a plan and you can beat it, right? And uh, and and by if you are able to do this, you will always outplay your opponent. All right. So we're gonna take a look at the two most basic examples, just coming straight from lane, and then after that, we're gonna look at um, uh, the the basic counter to what your opponent wants to do. Let's say your opponent is trying to attack you. You have a plan and you just beat it. And then lastly, we're going to look at the spicy examples where you can kill them or you have a plan to beat them. They have a counter to your plan and then you can counter that, all right? And then that way you can go through with your attack, all right? So let's let's start off with um, the basic attack, all right? So everyone knows what this is, all right? So this is essentially um, in lane, the most basic thing people want in lane are minions, right? And you have an attack, all right? So let's take a look, all right? So this game today. And, uh, you know, what, what do you think your opponent wants? She wants this minion, right? She wants this minion here. So the instant she goes to this minion, we're going to attack. And if she doesn't have a way to respond, if she can't beat this, if she doesn't know what I'm thinking, she will always lose, 100%, all right? So take a look. She wants a minion. Oh, we just go in, right? And she's like, holy shit, what I do? She, like, immediately spoke here. She had no idea what to do. So, oh, dead, right? Because I already knew beforehand that if we all in, we're winning, all right? So that's easy, right? Everyone can do that. Oh, you just attack them on a minion, right? But the important part is to make sure that she can't respond. For whatever reason, they can't respond. You know, if she's playing Sivir, it's kind of a hard matchup, uh, whatever. You know, I think it can't get Lux binded, right? If we take a look at this, you know, Lux, Lux is uh, really hard to bind us here. And then even if she binds us, we still win. Um, so yeah, they can't beat our attack. They can't counter attack. We can go through with the plan, all right? So this is the other one, is they have an attack and you're going to counter it. Okay, and they can't beat your counter, right? So in this example, um, what do you think I want here? Let's take a look real quick. If uh, you want to pause real quick, or what does it look like I want, right? So my mouse is on Sivir, but it looks like I'm trying to last hit this cannon, right? So what is she trying to do? She's trying to attack me, all right? So, oh, we just counter her plan. We just attack her back, right? Instead of going for the cannon, we actually kind of set this up to trick her, right? So if uh, they have an attack and you have a counter, and they can't beat that, you win, right? So let's take a look, right? Oh, it's like, oh, we wanted a minion? Just kidding, right? I just actually wanted to kill you. So we just run her down, right? No problem. Then, you know, we get the Lux too, which is nice. But that's kind of the, this idea in a nutshell, right? And you're like, oh, you know, it seems really simple. You know, everyone can do it. No, 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 no. You, you can't say you know how to do this until you can do it literally every interaction, okay? It's not that, oh my god, one time I outplayed this guy mid, like, last week, and I flashed his flash triumph, nah, shut the fuck up, like, every time, okay? Every single time, that's what we're going for here, is 100% reproducible, no matter what they do, you know it's coming, and that's, like, the goal, all right? That's, you need to set a high standard, high, like, you need to set the highest bar for yourself. You can't you can't say you know how to do this until you can do it every single time. It was a permanent habit. Okay, so the easiest way to get into this habit is um, one of the triggers for me is every time a a fight started, I need to make sure I'm remembering this. All right, so every time a fight starts, you think about the most important thing that they're gonna do that you need to beat. So let's say for example, two v two happens bot lane against Sivir and Lux. The most important thing is dodge the binding. The second most important thing is Dodge a Sivir Q, right? Oh, easy, okay? And in this way, um, you can make sure that reading your opponent and being able to beat their strategy becomes a permanent habit, all right? Um, so then you just like start, you know, adding this habit to a bunch of different triggers. So let's say, for example, walking up to the wave mid game, I'll just put like a, some examples on the screen, right? You, you take a look. But anyways, let's go to the next kind of level up, right, is um, more ways to beat their counter. This is like the ADC um, standard, okay? Is most people are gonna try and attack you, all right? So you need to be able to beat it, otherwise you just you just die. Like assassins are gonna try and kill you. Do you have a plan? No, you die, right? That's the most common. That's why people are like, how do you beat assassins? It's because they, they don't know what the assassins are gonna do, and then they walk up and they die, right? So a lot of times if you say, hey, you know, Vlad is super OP, why can't I why can't I beat this champion? It's super broken. And then I say, 
you know, you ask them, okay, what's Vlad's full rotation? They were like, I don't, I don't know. He's just like, Ulti's, I guess. And it's like, okay, you need to learn that he's going to hold on to his E. Like, E max, charge, flash on you, and powered Q, right? Like, the empowered Q is important. The E charge up is important, right? You see what I'm getting at? Um, so that's that's kind of uh, what you need to... Uh, you can't really know how to beat them if you have no idea what they're thinking or if you have no idea what they're going to do, right? So let's see here. This is just the... The classic, right? Rengar gank, right? So here is Rengar is trying to attack us, right? How do we know? Oh, it's that he can. It's possible he can attack us. I don't know that he will, but you know, judging by you know what's going on here, you know, he's just gonna. He's, the only thing he's right do right now is gank mid or farm, right? So um, that's kind of the idea. Oh, what am I going to do? What do you think? What am I gonna do here? All right. So I can I, we can pause here and give you like a few seconds for people who are trying to come up with like a theory or a plan. This is this is like your time to do it, right? Is before you walk up to the wave. And then see what I can what I can with it. Okay. So it's pretty spicy. Easy clap, right? We're going for the condemned flash, right? Because we know he's gonna appear right on top of us. Right? After he ultis. So he knows he can kill me. I know he can kill me. I have a way to beat that. He doesn't know I have a way to beat that. So I execute my counter and then he just dies, right? So if there's like 3000 IQ, he would know that I'm flash condemning and then he would like, he would like flash here or something like that. So like uh, there was recently a clip, clip on Reddit where um, there was an insect play by, uh, uh, who is it, Tarzan, right? Where he was like playing Lee Sin and he ward hopped past the enemy and the enemy like flashed to here and then he flashed behind them, right? So um, this is the exact same idea, all right? So um, this is this is the, the basic kind of keep yourself safe uh, yeah, strategy right here is counter their attack, all right? So here's another one. We're, not, we're gonna keep these short because it's like a million examples. You know, you're like, you stopwatch on Vega Alt and that kind of stuff, right? You guys have seen that a lot. So I wanna get to the spicy stuff before the video gets too long, 37 minutes long. So let's go up another level, all right? So once you get to this stage, it's like, this is kind of all you need for now, slash. Um, you can go into like deeper levels of complexity, but this is basically where where um, it's like, it's good, it's, it, you're just good, right? So you have a way to attack them and they have a counter, but you can still beat that counter, all right? So let me show you a few examples. This is like the most basic of this. Uh, I'm playing Twitch here. I'm gonna try and kill the enemy support Zyra, right? So I have a way to kill her, right? She has a way to kill me back. She's going to use her root and her ulti and a bunch of plants, ignite, whatever, right? She's going to flash away. That's going to kill me. And uh, what am I going to do to beat that? Oh, I'm going to... I mean, you can... Uh, let's pause here, see if you guys can um, figure out what's going to happen without spoiling. So, um, yeah, let's take a look. What am I going to do about it? All right. Oh, I guess I just walked past, right? And wait until she uses it, right? I just made her... I just jibbated it out. I made her panic, right? Um, so this is like playing with stealth, but... It's the same concept, right? You have an attack, she has a way to beat it, beat that, right? So other ways you can beat this is play the Ring King and run sideways, heal, run sideways, flash it, right? But you just need to come up with something, all right? Um, here's some more. If I walk up to hit Kaisa, what do you think they're going to do? Let's watch. All right, walk up to hit Kaisa. Oh, wow, Thresh is going to try and hook, right? Now, it looks really cool. Uh, but if you think about it, or if you take like the time to think about it, that's the literally the only thing they can do is throw out a hook because we're winning the trade, right? So if you watch, you know, how come Thresh got Jabeta into hooking, in, hooking me? Because I pretended that I didn't know he was going to hook me, right? I'm just, look at my character. I'm just running straight at Kaisa. But in fact, my mouse is already on Thresh. Right, and you can. It, it really doesn't matter what kind of solution you come up with. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? You just need to make sure that it works. Okay, so you could say, "Oh, I could have just Q flash," right? That I mean, that's totally fine. I think that's totally fine, right? Um, probably getting hooked doesn't really make sense. You could say something like, "Oh, I'm gonna buffer Q as I get hooked." That, uh, that's probably not as clean. But basically, you want to come up with something you think will counter their attack, right? Or counter their counter. You know what I mean? So. Looks really cool. You guys can do it too if you make this a permanent habit, right? You try and attack. A fight breaks out. First thing you do is think about the most important thing they're going to do, which is Thresh Hook, right? I'm not afraid of Kaiser Q or W yet. This is still in lane phase. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it. We just beat it. We have E, e or Flash. That's fine. Um, here's some more examples. Okay, so this example, I don't know if you see it, but they have a Jin and a Thresh. So if we attack, you know, we, we can kill Jin. What is he going to do? He's going to take a Lantern. 
How do we stop that? We can flash after it, right? Other alternatives can be you immediately wear the lantern, right? Um, or maybe you can heal and run super fast, but you just need to come up with a way to counter it, right? So let's keep going, let's keep going. Um, oh, this. Oh my god, this is pretty funny. <laughs> so this is one where you can make it like super obvious. You can give them like the super obvious counter. Uh, this this works most with Twitch and Kaisa Invisible Champions where they have like a knee-jerk reaction to throw a skill shot at you. Like say for example, you play Kaisa, you like E into them, you attack once and you flash their skill shot, right? You know, Twitch, you come out of stealth, flash their skill shot. All right, so check this out. I know I can kill him. I'm going to let him try and kill me. And then I have a way to beat that, right? So it's literally impossible for him to win, right? We're not trying to win. If you notice in all these examples, we're not really winning with like the slimmest of margins. It was like a beatdown. Like they couldn't, they were, like, they were like, holy shit, I got, done, like I got dumped on, right? That's, that's, that's what you're going for here is that they couldn't do anything about it, right? Um, and let's see, what, what, what else do we have here? I think we have like uh, one more. Okay, last one, same thing. Yeah, it's all the same, right? So here I have a plan of attack. I want to trade. And then um, they're going to try and, you know, stop me by stunning me. And then I have a way to beat that, right? By continuing the trade. So you can, you can also call this like input buffer and all that stuff. And uh, on this, we're going to end with this play, but I'm going to also mention um, this, this last bit here was important as well, right? So there are times where um, the best kind of attack has no possible counter. Right. What we mean by that is it's physically impossible for them to win. So let's say um, you're a Rengar, you have six items versus Kaisa, right? And she doesn't have stopwatch or flash. You're just gonna right click Kaisa and she gets one shot. Zero. There's impossible to outplay, right? Um, there are times where you can make an attack and they can outplay. So how do we make sure we increase the chances of that happening? And this is usually with skill shots, right? So um, the one we used here was some kind of misdirection. Right? We pretend to give up on this Braum. So he doesn't know this Q flash is coming, but if we run in one direction, we can pretend we're not going to Q flash. So he, he's not going to dodge it because he doesn't know it's coming. Right? So really, Lee is, 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 is a lot, all about, you know, do you think you know, you know what your opponent is thinking? And uh, uh, you, can, you, know, you can get away with some disrespect or um, something like that, but if he ends up like dodging this, you lost your flash. Right? So uh, other examples include like, you know, uh, let's say you're sitting in a bush and you're gonna ulti out of the bush and they can't see you, right? Let's say this is like Caitlyn, right? She can physically dodge it. It's physically possible, but she can't because if she doesn't know it's coming, she's gonna lose. Let's say she saw you go into the bush and she knows you're gonna ulti and then she flashes the instant she sees any kind of animation. Then, you know, you got played, right? Because she knows it's coming. So I, I just want to end on this note because you can get creative with these kinds of plays if your opponent doesn't know it's coming, right? Um, but for the most part, you want to go for something where it's impossible for them to win, right? Physically impossible for them to win through numbers or whatever means, all right? So yeah, um, we'll, oh, uh, we're also going to uh, talk about um, how this can go wrong, right? If you go for these, if you like, you know, come out of this video and you're trying to make these plays, there are three ways you're going to lose off these, all right? One, you have no, you didn't know what your opponent was going to do. You, were, you, you had no clue, right? Um, so that's the first step. You need, hum, you need to like get over that barrier. That's like the hardest barrier for most people is, you know, they just play the game, something happens, and then they win or loss, and then it's just like, uh, I guess we just queue up, right? No, it's, you need to figure out, you know, oh, did you know what your opponent was doing, right? Um, the second way you lose is, uh, your plan was wrong. Let's say, for example, I, uh, I have Hex Drinker, uh, so I can fight a Kali, and she kills you through Hex Drinker. So you were just incorrect about something. So that just means next game, you know that, oh, this doesn't actually work, right? Something like that. And then the last way these things go wrong is um, you, you had a mechanical oops, okay? Like, okay, you knew that the point blank Kaisa W is coming, you failed to flash. That's, that's okay, all right? That's, you want to get to that point. At that point, you're like, um, as long as you're aware, and you don't have like the reactions of a potato, right? You, it's not, a, it's not a problem. Like league is not that mechanically intensive. Okay, so those are kind of the three ways things could go wrong. Uh, you want to get to the point where it's just like a mechanical, random mechanical error that doesn't really happen often. Okay, um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope this will help. Um, 
man we need to make these videos shorter so yeah if uh you guys think these needs to be shorter let me know um otherwise uh i hope you guys can put this to good use okay so let me know how your games are going slash if you have any plays in the comments below all right see ya